finish him. Kill the guy now. Grab the gun. Hit him. Zoom uh -huh. into. What? What is this? Good day, sir. You are watching Jackie Pan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life. ACTV is very educative, informative, and there are football sports there. There is entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough like you've been fighting for food in your dream. Eh? That's really why you have F's in your courses like this. Special have, for you. I have you last semester. E, we eat five pounds on you. Very stupid. Oh, yeah, change that section to SCTV right now. And oh, God, the baby wants to have the first bone. Stupid boy. Good day, students at home. I hope this period, this lockdown period, has not been too boring. Because you've been receiving your lectures from time to time on ACTV um, or through ACTV, and I know that you've not actually lost anything because what you would have done in class, you've been listening to, you've been watching, you've been going through um, um, in, in the course of these uh, online lectures. So I hope that this time. It's going to be another good time for you to advance our class. This is THA115, and um, it is the course titled Introduction to Theater Management. Introduction to Theater Management. We introduced ourselves to um, what is theater management. And um, we've looked into areas of management in theater. So today we will advance the lecture um, on this topic, personnel in the arts theater. Personnel in arts theater. Um, just like any other organization, um, there are personnel specially trained for specific duties in all organization. And theater as, as an organization also has a series of trained personnel that could actually undo what is expected in the organization. And so as a way of introduction, theater, is, theater as an organization is operated by professional staff, specially trained for the profession. Theater as an activity is carried out by experts who are artists. And we also have theater as a business is run by skills. Skilled workers. We are looking at those who work in the art theater, those who are saddled with, saddled with responsibilities um, one way or the other in the art theater. So we're looking at theater as an organization. We're looking at theater as an activity. We're also looking at theater as a business. Good. There are categories of staff in the art theater. Like, um, in the institution, there are categories of staff. We have the teaching staff, the non-teaching staff, the technical staff, the office, and you know, in different ways. So also in the art theater, there are categories of staff that work in the art theater. We have the managerial staff. When we talk about the managerial staff, we're talking about the house managerial staff. And when we talk about the house, we're talking about the art theater as an organization. There are the artists who also work in the arts theater and we have the artisans. The artisans are skilled workers who, who do, you know, 
some other things, not exact, not uh, directly um, b taking them, bringing themselves to the stage, but you know, having to assist to achieve certain things on the stage. Good. The personnel and their operations depends on series of issues. Personnel in the art theater depends, one, on the size of the theater. There are different sizes of the art theater. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's as ranges by, depending on the strength of um, the establishment or the growth of the theater. So the size of the theater has a lot to do with the personnel that will be involved in the theater. Secondly, the type of theater. The type of theater. Um, a theater could be a playhouse, it could be an opera house, and the likes. So the type of theater will determine the kind of the, the personnel that will be put together, that will be working in the theater. For example, in an opera house, Opera House definitely must have a music conductor, a music director, okay, as well as the musicians in large numbers. Okay? Whereas a playhouse that does not operate the opera would not necessarily need to have a um, um, huge number of musicians as it will be in the opera, in the opera house, I mean. So the type of theater that exists um, talk so much about the kind of personnel that will be in operation in such theater. Then the operations of the theater, this is very, very close to the type of theater because the type of theater de determines um, what operates in the theater. So the operations of the theater, for example, if a theater will need to run street theater, and will not depend only on stage performances. The type of personnel that will be in operation will, will be so significant to that operation, the street theater. Then we will talk about the financial ability of the theater um, as uh, an important factor when it comes to the personnel operating in the theater. Due to the above, it is possible that a single, a, um, a single staff Assume, can assume more than one duty in the theater where necessary. For example, where we have um, a, th a small theater that has a little number of uh, personnel, definitely there will be instances where a single personnel might have to double play duties and roles, you know, um, a single staff could actually be the house manager, okay, and can also be an actor in the same theater, okay. Um, it, there are some roles that can go together and it will not obstruct each other. So, due to, due to the above mentioned, the size of the theater, the type of theater, the operations of the theater, and the financial ability of the theater, it will. Um, it, it has a, an underlining um, 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 factor in the personnel that will be um, employed in the theater. Right? Now we shall be looking at the duties, um, a general duty chart and responsibilities of um, types or categories of staff. <laughs> The managerial staff. This category talks uh, explains um, those in the office, the office workers. They are the ones that run the day-to-day -day business um, in the theater, in the art theater. They are the ones that run the official operations of the theater. And when I talk about operations, I mean those who will open the theater every day, those who are meant to clean up, those who are meant to facilitate productions, you know, and 
um, on this list, we have people like the secretary, the secretary, the typist, um, the house manager, okay, and quite a number of staff that belong to this uh, managerial um, category of staff. We have the artists as personnel in the theater. The artists are the stage players, those who attract people for entertainment, for productions, for shows, and all that. So under these ones, we have the, um, the stage assistants. the technical staff you know under this category as well so artists are also personnel in the arts theater and we also have another category that I will call the artisans the artisans also work in the theater they are important personnel in the theater and uh, the artisans we're talking about here are the craftsmen we have the carpenters we have the tailors we have the welder the electrician and a lot of craftsmen who would facilitate one or one thing or the other to ensure things move in the theater. These are, you know, general categories or, and responsibilities um, of the personnel in the arts theater. All right, I have a general list of workers, of personnel in the arts theater. It's such a long list that we may not be able to, you know, talk about them one after the other, okay? However, we'll pick few of them and discuss them, and um, others will be read in our notes, okay? All right, the first on the list here is the artistic director. The artistic director. The artistic director is like the overall, overall um, 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 personnel who, overall, who, who oversee who oversees things, operations in the art theater, especially that has to do with production, okay? The artistic director, you know, work directly with the artists, okay? When there is a production, the artistic director has the production, must have read through the play, must have understood the play, must know the, the number of um, casts that are meant to be in that play, is the head of the crew members, and of course, and the cast members, he, he brings everyone together and facilitates success, facilitates uh, um, productions in the art theater. Okay, it's like, it's like, you know, the arrowhead of the art theater. We also have the theater manager, or who we call the general manager. General manager is directly involved with the house, with the building, with the theater as a whole. He manages what goes on in the house is the manager he looks in he looks to 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 the day-to-day -day running of the house the workers the workers are present at work and they are carrying out their duties um you know because whether there is production or not the house must be open it's like an office okay so the theater manager or who we call the general manager is in charge of the house and the staff okay he ensures that things go on well with the house with the organization okay we have the director of production um, who sees into the fact that productions are you know the welfare of the artist productions are, are well you know are, are, are well carried out or oh, he oversees things that um, have to do with other aspects apart from the, um, the, the performances, okay? Looks at the welfare of uh, the artist, uh, ensures that things are provided for the artistic director to, 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 to be able, for the artistic, artistic director to be able to work with the artist. Someone must prepare, you know, scripts ready for the art, uh, uh, actors and ensure that things are in good condition that will make the production move on. The technical director is in charge of, uh, is, is the head of all technical personnel, such as uh, um, 
uh, the stage building, okay, uh, the, the, the building of the stage, and some other technical aspects, such as the lighting as well. So the technical director is a technical man that oversees what goes on. The costume director is in charge of the costume. He or she may not be the one that will make the costume, but he ensures that what the artists will wear are designed and they are, they are achieved through the tailors and people who are meant to put things together. We have the marketing director who markets the production, who markets the art theater. Someone who ensures that people come to watch you know, whatever production that is available. Tell, the old, tell people, advertise, ensures that advertisement is on about production and the, the, the operations of the theater. Director of public relations, uh, director of audience services, director of development, director of special events, dramaturgy, who, who looks into, who ensures that scripts are, you know, are available from time to time, the literary manager, the company manager, and, you know, we talked about the house manager. Good. We also have the ushers, who are also part of personnel in the art theater. We have the ticketing agent, we have the crew chief, the janitors, um, or the janitor, the dressers, the stage crew, the flight crew, light board operator, spotlight operator, you know, talking about lights that are beam, lights that are beam on the stage. We have different personnel who are meant to undo one or two things. We have the stage and um, which in, uh, who are people who prompt or tell the actors who are to come to stage, uh, who, tell, who tell them that it's about time for them to come on stage and sometimes if the stage has to be changed, if the props on stage, you know, have to be changed over, we have the stage and who does that when the light is off? Good. Then we have the actors, we have the audio engineer, we have um, the carpenter and master carpenter. In addition, we also have the dancers, okay? Um, they're also part of the personnel in the art theater, okay? The electrician who takes care of the running of um, um, power to the stage or to the lighting booth, you know. We have the front of house manager. Um, the front of the house is, you know, the gallery before you enter into the house, into the theater. That place needs someone to manage. So the front of the house manager is in charge of that, the lighting technician, uh, the master electrician, the musicians, uh, a paint crew, you know, a crew of painters who paint, who actually paint the scenes that might have been constructed on the stage. You have the bill, bill, play bill writer. The play bill is that little pamphlet that is given to um, audience as they pay for their ticket before they enter into the house. The play bill gives um, a summary or a kind of introduction to what the audience um, is about to watch. So when anyone comes to the theater as an audience, as part of the audience, and pays for his ticket or a ticket, a play bill is given that gives introduction to what he or she is about to watch. Okay, so we have the play bill writer. He pre prepares the play bill. We have the production manager, the property master, the publicist, someone who, go, who goes about publicizing production that is, is, um, uh, is coming up in a particular theater. The stage ends, okay, we've talked about that. The stage manager works with the artistic director. It's like the assistant of the artistic director, okay? We have the technical director, theatrical, technicians, wardrobe supervisors. All of these are personnel in the arts theater. However, by uh, the description of this course, which is the introduction to theater management, I like to emphasize that the management of the theater is in the hands, I mean the, manage, the management of the arts theater, the house, is in the hands of the administrator or the managerial staff. They sit to the effective functioning of the different areas of theater. 
And these different areas, as, as uh, we have talked about that in class, include the following. The organization. And the organization is the business. Theater is a business. So the organize, like any other organization you can think of, think of the, the, the insurer, the insurance, um, the institution, uh, the banks, the, the hospitals, they are all organizations, okay, that foster business, that run businesses, okay? So theater is an organization that looks for profit, even though in the entertainment industry, okay? So it's an organization, so it's an area of management. The organization ought to be managed. It, it also has an area of the personnel. The personnel, the people working there, they have to be managed. And so it's the duty of the theater manager, okay, that manages these ones. Then the arts, and that's, uh, that's talking about the productions, the plays, the dances, the productions, all sorts of shows, you know, that enhances business, you know, are under what should be managed in the art and the house, the building, the arts theater, the building itself, and that's the arts theater, need to be managed, needs to be managed by the manager, and that's, and we're talking about the managerial staff. Good. The summary of all we're talking about here is this. Theater as an area of discipline has numerous people with different functions in the organization. Two, these people are in different categories. And these categories include the managerial staff, the artist, and the artisans. These people come together to work, to achieve, to move the organization and to, to achieve profit and to fill um, the essence of the existence of the theater in the society. And finally, the management of the, of the theater lies on the managerial staff. Um, next class, we shall be discussing, um, we shall narrow down to um, the duties of the managerial staff, those in charge of all this. Okay? So that's the summary of what we have. In conclusion, as a student of the theater, your artistic prowess is important, yet the managerial skill is equally important in order to promote the skills possessed and attract profit in the arts. What are we talking about? Even though most of the time when we talk about theater, people look in the direction of acting, singing, dancing, and all sorts of shows. However, if there are shows and there are no profit, it is certain that the business of theater will go to oblivion. Um, if you will permit me, my little study about Ogunde Theater, you know, gives little understanding of what I'm talking about. Ogunde as, you know, the manager of his theater, who also happens to be an actor in his theater, did not leave the managerial aspect, I mean, to play. He ensures that there are profits are made. He ensures that the profit that are made out of it is going to pay his staff, is going to rent equipment or buy equipment where needed. The profit is also returned into the business for transportation for all other you know, day-to-day -day running of the business. So, that is the essence of what's been said. As a student of the theater, your artistic progress is important. Yet, your managerial skill is equally important in order to promote the skill possessed and attract profit to the art. Therefore, I conclude by saying, endeavor to develop managerial skill also. Because if you are good in the art and your art cannot be managed, in a short time, one will run out of business and might be difficult for one to continue business. Well, I will not leave you 
till we meet next week. I have a little assignment for you. Good. This is the assignment. Among the list of staff in the art theaters we have identified, I want you to identify those that are under the following categories. One, or A, the managerial staff. You're going to identify personnel that are under managerial staff. B, the artists. You're going to identify personnel who are artists. And thirdly, the artisans. You're going to identify among the long list that was given to you, you're going to identify the artisans, those who work to help um, improve um, whatever that is brought to the audience to see. Well, this will be the end of the class. I hope you've gained one or two things. I pray that soon we shall come back and continue in the business of the art. As you remember, we keep we are we're still preparing for our induction. Um, I'm missing you already. And we can't wait to meet again. So this is the end of the class. I wish you. Thank you very much. And I please keep keeping safe. Till next time. Guy now, grab the gun. What? What is this? Good sir. You are watching Jackie Pan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life. ACTV is very educative, informative, and there are football sports there. There is entertainment. There are a lot of things you can you can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough, like you've been fighting for your dream. Eh? That's really why you have F's in your courses, like but I have, made for you. I have you last semester. E, we eat by pounds on you. Very stupid. Oh, you are changing that section to SCTV right now. And oh, but the baby wants to have the first bonnet. Stupid boy. Oh, no, this is